Stay in the ditch and keep your head down. They've got snipers out there. Private Kovayenko, as the fastest man here, you will be debate. Me? Oh. No, thank you, comrade. That is an order! Alexei will cover you with a sniper rifle from here. Now go, before I shoot you myself!
MG 42 Alexei, we've got those anti-tank rifles on the second and third floor. You take out the tanks. We'll stop the troops. Here they come! Ready on the anti-tank rifles! Anti-tank rifles ready! Machine gun!
Feindliche Granate! Hilfe!
Berlin. Da, for the women and the French champagne. The general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. Will be re-educated with <laughs> for the women and the French champagne. The general who gets to Berlin last will be sent for re-education. Will be re-educated with the...
Hard to say, Conrad.
Well, good. That's good. Good for you. We must get out of here quickly before the artillery starts again.
Since June of 1944, the Allies have made enormous advances through Europe, sweeping through much of France, Belgium, and Holland, almost to the banks of the Rhine. Much of their success must be credited to the Russians, who at Stalingrad, during the winter of 1943, destroyed many of the Germans' best panzer divisions. On the Eastern Front, the Russians have continued to push the Germans back through Russia and much of Poland, and will soon be on the banks of the Oder River and the border of Germany. The situation for the Germans has grown desperate. Allied bombers have reduced many major German cities to rubble. The German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, is a mere shadow of the power it once was, and can do little to stop the bombers, much less fight the Allied armies. The Kriegsmarine, the German Navy, is mostly sunk, its U-boats destroyed, and its sailors pressed into the army. However, the enemy refuses to surrender. Unable to stop the Allied advance, Hitler has turned to vengeance weapons, the V-1 and now the V-2 rockets. These rockets, although some of the most advanced weapons of the war, are too inaccurate to hit military targets. Instead, they are being used to terrorize London. Gentlemen, we fought a whole bunch of these. So I know you know what to do, but indulge me. Move quickly, cover your buddies, don't bunch up. And for heaven's sake, don't stop till we reach those bunkers.
Take cover!
Alright Evans, we'll head east, destroying any targets of opportunity. Then we'll meet up with the rest of the squad as planned. You take point, I'll provide support with the Bren gun. We need to blow up that flat gun. Go! Stay low! 
Cover me! Evans, we need to blow up that flat gun. Go! Bloody decent work. You may have just fallen in here. Boys, smashing good use of mines. No time to chat. We'll be moving north to find those V2s now. All right then, move it. Move along. Cover Stay me! Low. Fire at will! Position.
destroy these V2s completely. We'll need to get them fully fueled first so they can blow their own asses up. Go find the controls in those bunkers and get those V2s fueled. explosives to destroy these vehicles completely. We need to get them fully fueled first so they can blow their own asses up. Go find the controls in those bunkers and get those VTOLs fueled. Cover me! Good, now place your bombs on them.
We need to get those flak guns to get our things through.
Mother, a few days ago, we waved the flag of the motherland over the top of the Reichstag in Berlin. The war, at last, seems to be coming to an end. There is very little fighting left in the enemy. Soon I will be returning to our home. There are German prisoners of war everywhere. Today, I crossed the Elbe River in Germany and shook hands with an American soldier. Although I could not understand anything he said, I felt this man was my brother. And I think he felt the same.